Here we go. Josh, Take it away. part four, finally my part. So I had the benefit of choosing all songs that I really just like. Yeah. Um, so this, we're going to end on a really sweet note, uh, at least for me. And the first song that I want to talk about is by uh, Moon Myung Jin featuring Loco with Excuse Me. I'm Excuse me, excuse me. Shut the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut your tongue. Shut the mouth. Shut your tongue. Oh, shut your tongue. Shut your tongue. Yeah. Close your lips. Shut, shut your, your tongue. Shout out to Shipper Jr. Anyways, um, if you are a long time listener, you know that you know I really love the baby making musics. You do love babies and, and making them. And this song is the baby making musics. But it's not like it's not like sex trip style making. Yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. just like it's not just like yeah. dripping yeah. like. Ooh. Yeah, it's not like wet. Right, it's not like it's not, like dirty. Like, yeah, Ooh. this is more of like a sweeter kind of version of. of I think maybe. This is like the movies. Love making. Mm. Yeah, like in, the movie, like in a movie, yeah, it's not gonna romantic. be like bum 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 sex. Or it doesn't yeah. go like that. I get what you're saying. You know, it's yeah, not yeah, gonna yeah. be grimy, grimy, and like, you know, all that. This is like kind of not necessarily romantic. This is love making, but instead of love meaning sex, it's love like love is blossoming music. Yeah, like we're making love. It, love yeah. is blooming. And it is just so good. Oh my god, like. <laughs> When I first, when I was like, go, oh, just, when I was listening. I'm raving, it's so when I, when I first, like, was going through this list and, like, listening to all these songs, there was, like, one song that, that I hadn't heard before, and it was this one. And when I heard it, I was just like, oh, my God, I just got to listen to this song, like, three, four times in a row, like, back to back. And Loco uh, is actually, he adds to the song, I feel like. Uh, he kind of slips in seamlessly, and he raps, and it really, really fits. Because I think it, you need a little bit of like, a little bit of contrast between yeah. just straight baby music, you know. And I mean, I really like this. I liked all. I like all three of the songs Josh yeah. picked. Yeah. Um, but I uh, went with Hot Pink so that we could talk about Hot Pink. Yeah. And also Josh picked before me. Um, you asked me, so I. That's did. true. That's true. It's all. It's all. It's it's a give and take. Yeah. It's a give and take. Give Push and pull. Uh, no. Uh, um, <laughs> but no, I agree. Like uh, the dude's voice, like. <laughs> Whenever, she's just slapping the nipple. Yeah. Um, the dude doesn't look like the voice, and the dude himself yeah. doesn't really match. Yeah, I you, feel so. There's like two actors, a boy and a girl, in the music video, and you look at them, and it's like, oh man, he sings. He's a pretty like good-looking guy, and then they have like the real guy singer. It's like, oh, that's yeah. why you have two actors. And he's kind of like a forty-year-old or thirty-six-year-old yeah. or something in the comments was like. He's got he's got those like Leon sunglasses yeah. on. Yeah. It's just like dressed kind of okay. like nineties hip hop. Yeah. 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 Um, but despite all that, like 
Dude can sing. Dude can sing. Dude makes good music. I really do like this song. Like it's, as you said, it's very, it's a very love type song, but it's not like boring ballad, K-pop, you know, version of this song. This is like something's happening here. Not quite sex. Yeah. It's not quite a sex trip. Maybe it's more like a making out. Yeah, maybe it's just like first base. Like, what do you consider first base? I don't know. I never learned the so, basics. So, I mean, it varies for different people. Yeah. I think first base is kissing. No. Some people. Some really? people. Some people say first That's... base. Some people say first base is just a peck, like a kiss on oh. the lips. And some people are like, oh, second base is like, you know, using tongue, and third base is like groping or. Yeah, I always thought third base was like hand hands, dogs. hand on general. Or mouth on general. Something on general that wasn't sex. I, that's what I always thought third base was. And I thought second base was like, like, dry humping area. See, for, for, for me, first base is any sort of kissing, French or non. Yeah. Second is groping of the body, like hand jobs. Hand on general. Yeah. Like, and three is mouth Three on is, yeah, oral sex. And then... That, that might be true. You look at me like, what? I don't have sex. I don't know what that. <laughs> what You're dirty. See, like, around, <laughs> oh, boy, girl. like around the age that people would actually say shit like that, like, I didn't do anything. Like, yeah. I was, I was a I loser. Was pure. I was pure. I wasn't pure by choice, but I was pure. <laughs> <laughs> so I never really learned these bases because, like, mm. it, it didn't matter in my life. Mm. I did learn a lot of uh, video game things. Um, <laughs> sadly not basis. Okay. I also didn't play baseball. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about this song besides you like it? Not really. Not really. Mm-hmm. Don't Sorry, listen guys. to Mina though. This is a, right. is a great ass song. Um, well, it's good. I like it. I but she doesn't I'm going to download it. Yeah. She doesn't have anything else to say besides it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Next song. Next song is a strange pick, but I feel like they've taken a 180. This next song is by K Much with Tie My Hands. I think their last song was really good. It, it's a slow transition from what they first started as to like here, right? Like the last song they had was kind of like, well, compared to with the first song. And the well, I think song. they were like, we we did that first song and nobody liked it. We're like, fuck this, and then they they very quickly, I thought, was like, no, let's go with the current trend okay. of like hip hop and R and B type. Yeah. But. Well, the the last song was kind of. A, kind of a ballad with a beat, wasn't it? Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. And Tie My Hands uh, kind of falls under the same category of ballad with a beat, I would say. Uh, but it's just a great, great, great song. Music videos kind of just a little bit... You can tell they don't have much money. Yeah. They spent all their money on crayon pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... But, so, yeah. yeah, like, it's, it's a good song. The music video is not that great, but definitely give the song a listen. I recommend it. Yeah, like... I think if you're still like maybe you're like oh K much like aren't they the crayon pop you know brother boy group? brother they have nothing and to do with pop? nothing to do with crayon pop anymore right yeah. like these dudes make I think these dudes have made two 
two of that genre of like hip hop y R and B kind of slower jam songs yeah. better than most boy groups. Yeah. Like I think they have yeah. the, them and I think actually weirdly enough, um Fuck. That was very what's loud. the four? Yeah, it was really yeah. loud. What? What's the four dudes? Two rappers, two singers that we really like. High four. High four. Oh, yeah. Like I think high four also weirdly enough makes like some of the best like slow like hip hoppy like songs. Mm. Um, I see where you're going. With and that. you might be like high four. Like I've heard like aren't they that that spring one with IU? And it's mm -hmm. like yeah they do do that. But you said do do. <laughs> they do do that. <laughs> But no, no they, they. they don't, haven't done that in a while, and they've been doing this other thing. And like, I think came much like their last song was called "It's Like Twelve Twenty Four. It was uh, um, December Twenty Fourth. Yeah, December Twenty Fourth, which was released in February. But, yeah. um, was it? Yeah, <laughs> it was. Um, <laughs> you were like, oh, it's a little bit late there. Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and it's the same thing. The music video is kind of mad, but the song, I, I, I still listen to that song. I, I don't think Josh does, but no, no. I still listen to that song, and like it's it's still a pretty dang good song. Yeah. And the same thing goes with Time My Hands. Like, after we heard this song, we were like, <laughs> we, we just get, Tie My Hands. And it's just like, it's got, it's got a little song. It's got that catchiness to it. It's got that R&B to it. Hmm? It's got, I think it starts a little not great, actually. Like, the first guy who's like singing or talking is like kind of like, Mumbly, low voice mumbling, and it's it does. It get let it give it thirty seconds, and then it, the chorus starts, and the, the, the rapping give starts. Give the full song. Oh, listen, give and it, a it And it, I think it gets good. You know, they did do a, a, a straight one eighty, three sixty. Three sixty is a full turn. What the fuck? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> full turn. Then do five twenty. Yeah. Uh -huh. You the Asian? You don't know the math? Yeah, it's one a.m. They did a three sixty. Okay. You know they. Did the same thing. Again. They did the 960. <laughs> they turned up, they thought about time. it. They thought about it. And they, they just did the same. They went round four times. <laughs> yeah, they did the four times. But, um, I, cause of, when I first think of, like, I don't remember hearing of their debut until after they visited my school and they're like, yo, do, do, do you know who K Much is? I'm like, who's K Much? And they're like, K Much is the brother of um, Korean pop. And the men crayon pop. Yeah, you know? and so I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll take a listen to them. And I was like, okay, no, not really. Yeah, not really thing. And then I just never paid, it, uh, paid, paid much attention. attention to them. I don't think anybody really paid no. much attention to them. Which is sad. Cause Except I, for like us, I, said, I guess. I think, yeah. Um, actually, speaking of really bad names, K Much? Bad name. What about K Will? Better name. But I don't know if that's because he's a known quantity, and so I. I'm used to saying his name. Right? Like, like most names are bad, right? Google's a bad name, right? You know, Microsoft's a bad name, but we get used to it. And we're like, eh. yeah. um, but well, one the K is still bad. <laughs> you mean Lowen? Lowen was at least okay. Yeah, Lowen was was at least okay. But you know what? One the K, you put subtitles on all your shit because you I actually think you. of your international <laughs> audience, unlike major third party fucking people. But Anyways. That's a complaint for another time. Anyways, give K much a chance. Like really, this one and I, at least totally I recommend different. twelve totally twenty four. Yeah. Um, uh, that's one's like, well, Shibi or, well, Ishib or something like that. December twenty. You're probably not googling it. In December twenty fourth, I think, might be the official. Title. The official name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not sure though. I'm not hundred percent. But the last song that we're gonna talk about in this very long podcast is uh, "Weed with Unhappy." Weed 
not as in the Panjas or the or the Kush, but like we would. Yeah, we would. W e apostrophe d. Yeah. So uh, this song has like no views. It seriously has less views than we have for. Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that's what we thought. But then they have like the official. They have the official like one the K version. I saw it. It only had like eleven thousand views, man. Eleven thousand is better than our videos. I told you we don't fucking get no more views since we did react. <laughs> we stopped doing reactions, man. But uh, so weed is uh, I know I, zero things about weed. Yeah, is a is an artist that we know nothing about whatsoever, but uh. Our lovely kind of moderators of Essential K-Pop, uh, they put this up, mm -hmm. we put it on our list, gave it a listen, and my ears just like, it was so freaking good. Like from the first listen, like, so I, I was playing, I was just going through the list and I listened to this song and I, I was doing something else, wasn't paying attention to the music video and I was just like, yeah, this song, this song is good. Just like immediately, kind of like how you, when you listen to songs, sometimes you're just like, yeah, this song, mm -hmm. or no, this is not the song, mm -hmm. right? No, what did you guys think? I agree. I think this song is really, really, really good. Yeah. I would love to have talked about it in my section, but you had already picked it. I also really like the music video. Yeah. Like. Creative. It's uh. there. It's it's a little BTS-y because it's like we don't know exactly exactly, exactly what happened. Yeah. But there's enough clues, I think, to get 98% of the way there. Yeah. But, like, it's just about this situation. Or at least on the surface, it's about the situation of, like, like... a love triangle. Not even a love triangle part. I'm, like, ignoring the dude that we have no idea where he came yeah. from. I'm just talking about <laughs> when you're, like, on a date, right? When you're on a date and, like, it's, like, one of your first dates or second dates or third dates. And, like, someone needs to make that first move. Uh-huh. Right? Like, you're in a movie theater, someone needs to do the arm around the, the back thing, or like, the, I'm gonna put my hand someone on your needs hand. To touch the shoulder, someone needs someone to touch, needs to touch the thigh, someone needs to touch the some knee. hand on, you know, to skin to on shoulder. skin contact, right? And like, I hate it because me personally, I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm really bad at, at being the, the first guy, right? And yeah. so, like, in the video, the girl is like, fuck it. Like, I'm tired of waiting. I'm gonna grab that I'm chicken thigh. I'm gonna grab <laughs> your thigh and I'm gonna kiss you. And I was like, I love that. <laughs> I really love that. Um, and then there's some kind of like this love triangle dude stalking these people apart. Yeah. It's like whatever. But like I just liked the video and I also liked the song. Although the song's called Unhappy. It doesn't sound like an unhappy song. Yeah. Um, I don't really know the lyrics. But overall, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Definitely going to download it. Definitely. Definitely. 100%. Thousand percent. I think I have to listen to it another another round round yeah. before I will make a full decision if I'm gonna download it or not. But I mean, like, I don't hate it. Yeah, I liked it. Which is good, I think, for Mina, because mm -hmm. yeah. Mina's you are much more uh, black and white like, yeah. with your things. Um, you listen to something. If you don't like it, then that's it. If you like it, then mm -hmm. yeah, good idea. Um. So yeah, I think that's uh, this week. Now this. This episode, and I think the last couple of episodes, like there are a lot of great songs. Yeah. But almost all of them were not mainstream songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit less of the beaten path. Yeah. Some of, some of them were from the big companies, but most of them kind of indie or even like solo artists, things like that. Yeah. Like I'm trying to think the only, I mean, aside yeah. from Psy, which we did like, yeah. I think the only other song that we had decent things to say that was a big group was got seven mm -hmm. yeah 17 i guess is a big but yeah 17 is yeah. more more popular getting, yeah, yeah. And, and i really think you know as we get closer to episode 82 which sadly me and you're not a part of because that would be like a 17 hour podcast right yeah. um it's gonna be rough. it's gonna be a long ass one it's gonna be rough um you know when making like the top 10 i really was just like damn i fucking i think 2015 was the year you know, we, we've said this before, but the year that everybody else has been stepping up. Yeah. Like, everybody else in the K-pop scene or the K-indie scene or the K-R&B yeah. scene or the K-hip-hop scene. Music. They Korean really, music is kind of just leveling out. Yeah. Yeah. They're really doing an amazing job. While I think the general K-pop is trying out more musical things, right? They're not just releasing the same that. boring songs or the same generic songs. 
But I personally think while they're experimenting, their songs are more there boring. Are, there are a lot of they're not as catchy. A lot of misses. More misses this year. Yeah. Yeah. So while we began 2015, like really down, because we were like, man, so many songs are not good. Mm -hmm. Man, so many songs are not good. This later half, like though. the second half, and like almost all of the songs are from C tier or less. Almost yeah. all of them. It's like it's it's going to be a really interesting Pe top ten. For I people, think. I'm sure that like 80 percent of the people we talk about youth, like you don't really pay attention. To. Yeah, I'm and, sure of it. I mean, we're just saying that, Joe. If you're listening to our podcast, you know that because we've been talking about them for a while. Yeah. But I'm really, really excited to hear Josh's top ten. I think yeah. our top tens. Well, last year's our be... top tens were pretty different. Yeah. But I think this year is going to be really, really different. Yeah. Top ten. I think I was I was going to say the same thing because I feel like last year we we agreed on more things, whereas yeah. uh, I'm going to go back though. I'm going to go back yeah. and look, of course, exactly what we agreed. Like yeah. I think if we're going to make an after show for that episode, yeah. I think going back to the year before and kind of talking about it would be great. That would be nice, um, yeah. And plus, it would be after we know each other's yeah, list. Fix, yeah. But like... Because last year, we ex we thought that we had a lot of... A lot of I think comedy. we agreed on like at least four, four or five, yeah. four occasions maybe. Yeah. Which which I think this time, even if if we agree on, I know we're gonna agree on twice. Uh, I I know we're gonna think about it twice, but other than twice, I don't really I don't know. I really don't know. We love twice. We love twice. A little so too much. much. A little too <laughs> much. It's a, it's it's a little bad. We're too old to like twice. We are too fucking old to like twice. Mina. Have you thought about it twice? I have thought about it twice. And what's your what's your ending thought after thinking about it twice? I thought about it twice. And you still didn't like it. Well, and not that I don't hate it. But it's not what? the greatest song. It's not that, that I don't hate it. It's not that I don't hate it. I just didn't like it. Can you mask your words any more? Yeah. Speak just be clear. I know we just said we love it and that we might kill you if you don't like it, but... This may be the last time you'll ever hear from me again. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, no, I, I actually did. I, I really did like the song. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Uh, I was kind of like uh, a little bit of uh, kind of iffy on the whole zombie theme. Yeah. But I mean, I mean overall, it was catchy. <laughs> I like I like the song. I, I downloaded I downloaded mm -hmm. it. To be fair, I didn't like it at first, really. Because one, one, someone tweeted me. It was like, hey, check out the new Twice song. Mm -hmm. And like, what, do you, what did you think about the new Twice song? I'm like, I don't know. So I, I listened to it. I was like... I don't really know if I like the song that much, but the music video is awesome. Yeah. And like... And that changed. Actually. And that changed. Or, oh, I still love the music video. I think it's yeah. still a really great music video. But like the song has really, really like, good, yeah. really like dug a fucking da, da, da. like da, 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 thing in my head. Da, da. Yeah, it's just um, burrowed and laid eggs in my head. Yeah. Anyways, enough about twice. Uh, that's it for episode 81. Thank you, Mina for uh, wasting your time with us for this very long podcast. You know, when we moved to this new format, it was yeah. supposed to be quicker. Um, but last week's podcast was like two and a half hours, and this one will be about two hours. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, we fucked up on that. Sorry. But uh, it doesn't matter because next week's is going to be like seven hours because yeah. it's our favorite. So tune in next week. Not next week. Same in two time, weeks. Same bat channel. And uh, we'll be back in, in a bit for the after show, which I don't know if Mina's ready for. But... Uh, Think about it twice. See you next time. Welcome, my chingos, to the After Show Show for episode 81. This is not the normal episode. This is the shit hot of the main episode where we talk about random topics of interest. This week, we got Mina here. Shit. We're going to talk shit. about shit. Flashback. We're going to talk about Mama 2015. And we're going to talk about uh, some dumpster diving in the Reddits.